everybody. I decided to pull this huge set of Johnson Brothers Friendly Village out and repackage it, take inventory, take measurements, and I'm going to start the listing process. Now, originally, I was going to use this for the holidays, but plans have changed. So I want to give you just a general overview of actually how much is here. You didn't get to see it all in the haul video. There's a total of 156 pieces. So I paid less than a dollar a piece for everything on this table. There's definitely service for at least 24. Do I want to sell it as a service for 12 or do I want to sell the service for eight? No, I'm going to list it by the item individually, like cups and saucers, dinner plates, bread plate, bowls, platters, glassware, etc. And we'll get into talking a little bit about that. But I wanted to give you a general overview of what all was included with this. This is a very popular pattern done by Johnson Brothers. They had an amazing line of this that has been going on for years. I think they still produce it. And we'll talk a little bit about how this collection ended up there. And But I just wanted to give you a general overview of the different pieces. Every plate, bowl, cup, platter has a different scene on it. So this one has the village green that matches these bowls here. This is called the covered bridge. As you can see, it's covered bridge. It was all part of the series that they put out. So we're going to go through, I'm going to give you a kind of a list of what I bought, how many of each, and then talk about how we're going to list it and store it and go from there. So stay tuned. All right, we're back at the table here. Let me get you a little bit more level. Anywho, there we go. So, as you saw, I bought that whole set. It was kind of a impulse buy. Um, I, I knew it wasn't gonna go for as much as it should. And I thought, I'm sure there's money to be had there. And there definitely is. Um, so as I said, I counted everything up. We had 21 10-inch dinner plates, 6 9 and 3 4 dinner plates, 28 cups, 27 saucers, 2 creamers, 1 sugar, 28 square bowls that measure 6.5 by 6.5, 3 8.5-inch vegetable bowls, 27 6.5-inch bread plates, 2 oval vegetables, 2 15-inch oval platters, 1 13.5-inch platter, two 12-inch platters, four wine glasses, one jar, and one underplate for a total of 156 pieces. So, I'm doing some quick math here. So, in essence, about 90 cents a piece, which isn't bad. I briefly looked some things up, and I think how I'm going to sell the items are I'm going to do the 10 inch dinner plates, I'm gonna list per plate. I think the average going price was anywhere from $10 up to $18 a plate. So I think what I'm gonna do is list it at maybe $12.99 or $14.99 a plate or best offer. And I actually, I think I'm gonna take advantage of eBay's um, feature and say, you know, set a bottom reserve price because I have to be honest with you. There's been some things recently on eBay where I actually had somebody and I don't want to call anybody out, but they made an offer on an item. They took a huge chunk of money off in the offer and then made the comment that they needed room for resale after paying shipping and for the item. And I just kind of was blown away on the back of my seat, kind of like, what? Like, 
I'm doing this to resell it to make money. I'm not here to sell it to you for less than it's worth or less than I paid for it so that you can turn around and make a profit. Um, I think there's a lot of people out there that are not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not being resourceful and sourcing items and just decide, let's take the easy way out. Let's, hit, let's buy stuff off of eBay, mark it up and send it on its way. And that's great if that works for you. But for those of us out here who are out there hitting the pavement daily, um, who are, you know, in communities working with people, buying things and have reputations, good reputations and get a lot of referrals, that's kind of an insult. So eBay actually has a feature where you can set a minimum reserve. So I think I'm going to give that a shot on this Try it out and see how it goes. Um, and just put like a minimum reserve of $9.99 on those plates. And if I'm in a good mood that day and somebody says, hey, I want four dinner plates at $9.99, out the door. Um, I think I'm gonna put them on now. I, I have two totes that I think can get everything in and then I can store those kind of off to the one side of, of the eBay area and just pull from there. And that'll work out great because I can just keep it up. I anticipate it's not going to be a quick sell. I do think it's going to take a little bit of time. It's a quick and easy listing because you can do multiple quantities. And I think typically with things like that, I've seen around holiday seasons, September, October, November, December, you start to see an upsell of replacement pieces for China flatware, et cetera, where people are like, I got another group of four coming for Christmas dinner. So instead of 12 forks and knives and spoons, I need 16 um, or same with the dinner. You know, we're going to have an extra four people. I only have eight plates, got to order four plates. So I think we'll see little bits and pieces kind of fly out the door throughout the remainder of the this year. And as we get closer to the holidays, I think a good bit of it will go. Um, so it's, it's one of those things. It's like, you take a chance on it. Uh, if you, if you can, you know, if you have the time to let it sit there a little bit and it's, it's going to make you your money. It's going to be a, lo a long, sell, I call it. Um, not a short sale. So every once in a while, it's good to pick something like that up. That way, if you're running low and you want to keep your inventory numbers on your eBay store up, you can with that. So I think that'll, that'll turn out pretty good. Um, I'm excited to see how it does and see where it goes um, and, and see what, what we have going on. So that is the short and long of it with the Johnson Brothers Friendly Village. If you're interested in any of the pieces, I'm going to try to get them up in my eBay store this weekend so that they're available for a purchase. I'm going to be very fair with the pricing, try to price it kind of in the middle of what everything's selling for, for sold comps. And, you know, if you throw me a decent offer, I'll probably take it. So we'll just keep it moving along and get that right out to everybody in their homes that collect it. So if you like these videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, we're, we're getting closer to that 500 mark, so I'm excited to be there. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.